This is AJ from Fire From The Gods and you're watching Hot Support. Peace. Take for instance, there's a song on narrative called Lifeline. Through Lifeline, it, it was literally because I was probably going through one of the worst periods of depression and feeling uh, just worthless. That's such a strong word to use, but it's exactly how I felt. It was because I, I was in a relationship for about 10 years and I felt just emotionally abused. Uh, I was having issues with my family, my health had taken a major turn for the worse. I had, you know, I was doing a lot of drugs, I was drinking, I was, I, I, I was, I had no idea where I was in life and my existence to me at that point was meaningless. In the grand scheme of things, who am I? What am I doing? Why am I here? Why, why, why? Why does this continue to happen to me? Why am I not doing well at work? Why can't I uh, satisfy this person that I'm with? Why am I feeling so depressed? Why am I at, on edge with my family? You know, I had these deep abandonment issues as a kid because, you know, I grew up in a very fractured home where, you know, my dad wasn't very present, but he was this figure in my life that I had this weird affinity for. But I think it was my desire and need for that male figure in my life or to have. And you know, a lot of kids that I grew up with in single parent homes, he didn't abandon me. me. He just, you know, it, 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 the relationship between he and my mom didn't work out. So he, he remarried, had a family, and I'm very close with those people. But at the same time, I felt like I was lost. As I grew, that kind of filtered into my adult life from childhood to being a teen to adulthood. And it was very detrimental because it became a physical thing at that point where I was physically depressed. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to live anymore. You know, I downed a lot of uh, prescription drugs, a lot of pills, a lot of heavy dosage stuff that I had access to. And I went to sleep and was like, this is it. I ain't waking up. Like uh, a buddy of mine, he was like, dude, we, we came over your house. Your roommate called us like, AJ ain't waking up. When I did come to, no one, like, I didn't go to the hospital or anything, so it wasn't like a scare. No one thought, and no one was aware of that I was going through this because I kept this facade. I always had this facade growing up where I had to be something that I wasn't, you know? I was the only boy in, in my family, so to speak. You know, I, I grew up with two sisters and my mom, and it was always this pressure that you had to live your life to be the strong man. You are the man of the house, Akil, you know? You, you are the man, you gotta be the man. And, and I was always under this pressure and I always felt like I had to be a bit more than I was. So trying to deal with the insecurities as well as fulfill some sort of role that I had no idea how to fulfill and probably I shouldn't have as a child, you, no one should put that sort of pressure on you. I shouldn't have to fulfill the potential of where we lacked in other areas. But I think I found an inner strength inside of myself because when I did come to I was like I really did try to kill myself and it didn't it didn't happen like you know it wasn't an epiphany right there I didn't wake up and see the light I was just I felt groggy I, I was physically sick and you know it it was like am I gonna do this you know and I thought about it I thought about it subsequently after and I thought about you know am I gonna do this again you know maybe I didn't do it maybe I didn't do it down enough to, to make it happen. Maybe I should really try something extreme. But through that, and through that adversity, I found this will and this, this desire to carry on. There is hope. You know, I have a child on the way, so I know now that I really have to do it. I really have to be here to support, to support my child and, so, and to impart some of the knowledge that I've gained and the experiences that I've gained through life. I have to impart that onto another human being so I can't afford to fall back into that rut. I can't afford to, to go back to the alcohol. I can't do it the way I did. I can't get back into the, uh, into the lifestyle. I've gotta be there for this person and I have to live for myself, but yet live for, for this child and, and teach them the correct and proper way to love. That's why you call